generous helpings leading them forward. Amongst the leaders stepping away, flash crash as well. They're off and racing and quite crowded. In fact, going towards the first bit of argy bargy between Pretty Mobile and uh, also the Green Jacket Earls Ford as they head towards the first flight in their Star Sports Bet code on UK conditional jockeys. Not this is handicap hurdle. Flash crash looks like rising first. Pretty mobile right there in the light blue and white jacket and the suit between them in the spots on the right is Tyre Hill. Uh, on the left is uh, Burgess Dream. Further left on the wide outside generous helpings as they arrive at flight number two. And uh, five or six of them in the air together there. Just been behind the leading bunch. See the Springs is on the inside. The grey, the green jacketed Earls Falls. Rosselli Star in purple and orange. Watch me tail in a red and white hoop cap. And maybe just last is Looks now like Brian in light blue sleeves. A couple of circuits ahead of them now. Swinging left-handed. And on their way to the back straight. And Tyre Hill nipping up the inside. At this point of the race with Pretty Mobile and Flash Crash and Masood almost a line of four into the back straight. Priscilla Star got a bit warm before the race, is in fifth place. A little bit keen in the run, generous helpings out wide. On to this next flight. And Flash Crash and Masood going on from Pretty Mobile and Tyre Hill. Burgess Dream jumping up fairly well there in the blue jacket, yellow cap. Generous helpings still charting a very wide course, getting a clear view of the hurdles as they head on towards the next. This is flight number four. And who's going to rise first this time? We've had a few leaders already. Masoot and Flash Crash, possibly one and two. Burgess Dream right there, generous helpings. In behind them, Tyre Hill and Pretty Mobile and Priscilla Star. Looks now by Brian on the outside has made up one or two places as they run round the bottom bend. And then towards the back, Earl's Fort gets a shake of the race. See the Springs is up the inside and watch me tail is firmly at the tail at the moment. Swinging left-handed and then completed the circuit. And on towards the next two flights. And Masuka over on the far side under Graham Carson. Out in front from Generous Helpings and Burgess Dream. Charlie Deutsch down the centre. Masuka comes into it. A little bit untidy. Generous Helpings right on terms. Under William Clark and then Burgess Dream and Priscilla Star. It looks now like Brian over on the far side is Tyre Hill. Right up the inner, followed up the inside by See the Springs alongside Flash Crash. Masuta, a rather alarming big jump there over that flight and away to the right, but still clinging on to a slender lead. Masut leads the way up the hill. Just over a circuit to go now. Generous helpings right on terms out wide with Priscilla Star coming to join in. Then Burgess Dream in fourth from Looks Now Like Brian. Tyre Hill behind them. See the Springs the inside. Pretty mobile bumped along. Followed by Earl's Ford Flash Crash Watch Me Tail. So heading to the back straight now with four flights left to jump. And the suit is ridden along on the inside of Generous Helpings. Priscilla Star close up in third. And these three have got a gap of about two and a half lengths on the others. We're headed by Burgess Dream and the improving looks now to like Brian. Then Tyre Hill and Earl's Ford and See the Springs jumping the next. And there, Generous Helpings and Masood pretty much in the air together. They're wide apart. Down the back straight then on towards the third last. Looks night. Looks now like Brian coming there in the light blue sleeves. Priscilla Star now being driven along. On the inside is Burgess Dream followed by See the Springs. Here's three out and there. Generous helpings led from Looks now to... I'll get this right in a minute. Looks now like Brian going up on the inside. Then Burgess Dream and Earl's four. So into the turn and swinging left-handed. Two flights left to jump. Generous helpings now. The one to catch here has gone two legs up on. In second place Looks now like like Brian giving chase, then three or four lengths to Burgess Dream and Earl's Fort as they run into the home straight with two flights left to jump. A gap to see the springs, watch me tail, Tyre Hill, then Masut and Flash Crash, generous helpings, but looks now to like Brian is getting on turns just a length and a half down. Then Earl's Fort still running on from the back in the green jacket. Over two out, generous helpings was untidy, unlanding, and looks now like Brian taking over, but only narrowly with Earl's Fort in third place and a gap to Burgess Dream. Here now is the final flight. Looks now like Brian landed there in front of Generous Helpings in second and Earl's Ford as they race up the hill. Looks now like Brian is all out here. Generous Helpings and Earl's Ford are fighting back over on the inside. Looks now like Brian is just going to cling on from Earl's Ford. Then 
and generous helpings in third. Burgess Dream back in fourth, followed by uh, Watch Me Tail. Tire Hill see the springs flash crash. Masood fading right away. If you ever want to see a jockey's £10 claim making the difference, particularly a jockey who claims £10 who's ridden winners, this surely is it. George Blackwell on looks now like Brian. Gets the better at the moment of generous helpings who travelled for much of the race like the winner and sees off the closing challenge of the inform Neil Mulholland's Earl's Fort. But as we discussed before this race, bringing the weight down of this top weight from 11.12 to 11.2 was such a good move by Tim Vaughan. And to be fair to George Blackwell, he looked very polished. I actually thought that William Clark looked polished as well for an inexperienced rider on generous helpings. And no surprise there when he's connected to the Gary Moore stable. But this ride from William suggested to me that he will be riding a winner very soon for Gary Moore. It's just absolutely a matter of time rather than if. So... Nothing wrong with that effort from William Clark at all. He's just beaten by a better combination today. Looks now like Brian. 3 1 joint favourite, Ellsford's at 9 2, and Generous Helpings 3 1 joint favourite. A finish of fancied horses at Fontwell.